Hi Stays! We have a video sponsor. At Coreo you can get all your K-Beauty products, but specifically the Nacific Stray Kids sets. So in the description below, there will be three links for Stray Kids uh, Nacific sets that you can have a 30% discount on if you use our discount code MYCUPOFTV. This is the Stray Kids Photo Booth set, the Fresh Herb Origin Toner. So these are full size as well in this set, it's not miniatures, the Fresh Herb Original Serum. This one actually I already use daily um, and I have to say I love it. Mm. and it actually does go a long way. Fresh Herb Origin Cream, the eye cream. I tell you what, that is a really good size for an eye cream. It also comes with five face masks, photo postcards, Coriel Nacific skincare sets with Stray Kids, links below, 30% discount, My Cup of TV. Hi, welcome back to My Cup of TV with Jenny. JD. So, Stray Kids. We recently did them on the first take doing case 143 mm, mm. and as much as we enjoyed it you did say it's nicer when they do the more vocal ones in that setting because mm. you can really hear it mm. well they did <laughs> okay so i over on patreon i did an album listen mm -hmm. for the new japanese album cool. sound and there's a song on there called lost me lost which, me yeah okay which is a more vocal one and they've also done that on the first take Excellent. literally came out Give a couple of me. days ago so Give let's it to do me. it yes yeah i think the thing for stray kids is it's line distribution with it, lots of bands that have yeah, more members it's just we want to get a good chunk mm -hmm. of vocal from someone but also um, the style of the songs i yeah. know like what they're doing which is so good it's they're so good at what they do they found their little genre yeah. and i'm not saying that they do play and they're, they're breaking barriers and whatnot but things like cheese I yeah. can't, I'm not being going to be able to, like, as it were, judge heavy vocals or anything because their songs don't contain it, but that's okay because what they do, they do it really, really well. Yeah. But, and it, I don't, I've also said before that I don't know, their voices are still, dare I say it, not to sound patronising, but they're still quite young. They're still quite early on in their career. So their voices are still going to be mm. developing. They may feel album wise if they haven't gone into it yet they might be waiting on some ballads they're like it's a, we're gonna yeah. do some we have done some but we're gonna wait we have done some but i still feel like it's just line distribution because yeah. you've got a lot of people but the closest again, we got i think was lino's most recent one the one that we said we really good yeah. for a k-drama but we're still going through like with b-sides and solos and stuff mm. um so i mean there's yeah so much there we i just don't know it yet yes so this lost me okay it's but a Japanese this, one. But this is them as a group? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. I haven't watched this yet. I just know the song because I did the album. Okay. Because, so. well, you know, like sometimes, um, obviously they've got their little units. Yes. So I just wasn't sure if it was no, a unit or all of them. No, there's no unit tracks on the Japanese album. Okay. So. Cool. I do I do get pleased when they they hear us. And when we're doing it and we, we were like, oh, I really want this. I want yeah. more of this. And they're like, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. I think it's time Chan gave up on the cropped tops and just let loose. Okay, Let's well, hope I hear that. that. I'm listening for the vocals. <laughs> Jenny is looking for what she wants. <laughs> Ready with the sound, because last time it was really quiet. Mm. But it might also be because they haven't stepped up to the mics yet. <laughs> Even the little little trills, vocal warm ups, lip trills. Oh. Can I also say I hope that this is just the last little bit they're doing of vocal warm ups because yeah. this minute of warm up is not enough. Yeah. But again, that's what I want to sit in with my favourite like idol groups. I want to sit in on their vocal yeah. warm-ups because they're so funny to watch. Oh. You've not, we've not seen them do this much vocal warm-up. Now they're coming into a more, what you're saying, it's yes. a more vocal requirement song. Yes. 
신나는 분위기를 보여드렸는데 이번에 어떤 곡 보여드릴 예정인가요? 이 o u r h a n d s on y o u r h i p s s a i t c a n it be louder, please? Thank you. No Space for a mistake. Um, Very nice. Are you alright? Because you were squirming like shit. <laughs> Do you know what I saw? My peripheral vision. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? I I don't often get to hear Changbin vocals and it's so beautiful. It's <laughs> disgusting. Um, yeah. Her reaction, not <laughs> Changbin's vocals. They were lovely. Don't tell me you weren't doing the same here in Changbin vocals. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No, it's very nice. Which is such a treat. Mm. <laughs> we'll start with Ian because I think he was on the end. Yeah. That is a deeper tone than I'm used to hearing from him. It was nice. He's a little bit, his voice reminds me a little bit of um, not the same pitch, as in it's his is brighter, lighter, higher, but um, 
V from BTS, his voice sits quite deep back in his throat, and so yeah. IN has that as well. IN's voice is not as it doesn't sound as 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 forward in his mask. Does that make sense? It's sound, yeah. when he's making a sound, but it sounds kind of deep, like it's yeah. coming from the back of his throat. See, I was thinking that when Sunwin was singing, I could feel it back here, the mm. vibration in his voice. Mm. Maybe think of it as just coming from back there. Yeah, and again, for bigger notes, it has yeah. to. Um, because again it's not healthy you can't make those big notes from your like mask I, I feel like we normally get a higher tone from my in so that was lower than I'm used to hearing him it was nice and, to, to hear something different and I also think that that's possibly natural progression of his voice as yeah. he's growing and his instrument is progressing because remember the first time we watched one of the first first takes and I, I said like his voice doesn't mm. sound like it's fully developed yet which is natural for any singer you know it's, it, continue, it always progresses and whatnot but yeah his voice is getting fuller yeah, and that that would make sense for as he's growing up and he, you know, he's he's training yeah. and whatnot. Mm. And he looked so adorable. <laughs> he looks like some elf from the North Pole or something. He's um, on vacation. Yeah, uh, Lino was next in line, I believe. He was. Was he wearing some big grey card again? Yeah, that looked really nice. Lino. Again, I feel like Lino's vocals are so good, but. I don't always take that on board because he looks so casual doing it. He, he looks very relaxed, which is good. It's I mean, nice he doesn't make it look like it's hard, so you don't mm. necessarily register just yeah. how good it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, his his voice sounds like that. He's literally, it's so funny, again, coming back to his song, saying that that should be in a K-drama, because his voice is like the perfect balance of what they want yeah. ballad singers to have in Korea, which is, I think he does have the ability to, he has vibrato there, but he knows how to control it. And it's not, it, it, so he can do those yeah. big notes very clear and bright without any vibrato. So it sounds really... I think he's very good at doing the soft bits, but then going into a more powerful chorus. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 But it's really nice. And I like the fact that if even if I close my eyes now, I think I can identify yeah. their voices oh, individually. Yeah, okay. So their their timbre is all really different as well. So Changbin, mm. it sounded nice. It sounded um, again. It's softer. Whenever you're singing, yeah. you have to give more air versus his rapping, which is more like speech tone, yeah. which isn't as aspirated. So it was nice. Basically, it naturally will be softer than when he raps, yeah. and it was nice. It's nice to hear it. Mm -hmm. That soft side, yeah, <laughs> of my big strong man. But again, because he naturally doesn't get that type of of bit in any of the songs. No, he's predominantly so, the rapper. He, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I've ne with some of them, I've heard bits that I'm like, there's potential there for, for as a vocalist. Yeah. And again, because being an idol, they tend to be able yeah. to do all three. Um, but there are some idols that do only do specialise sort of, yeah. one yeah they're more strong in my thing but I, I've never even heard anything of Changbin that's made that's piqued my interest to think it might be there yeah. as a singer um, so it was a nice surprise that I'm like oh no there is something there he could yeah. he could do that that's softer that's nice there are other songs on this album that are kind of more vocal with Changbin where mm. if you watch my reaction mm -hmm. there's a lot of me going <gasps> No, I can't watch that. No, I won't watch that reaction. I will just listen to the album, thank you. I will listen to it, watch you squirm. Um, um, but yeah, no, that was yeah. nice. Um, who was after Changbin? Hyunjin. Hyunjin. Mm. First of all, love the jumper with the chain. Oh, what a diva. It literally looks like he should be sponsored by Chanel or something. Yeah. This is too he expensive for he you. On the catwalk as well, doesn't he? Too expensive for you. <laughs> Dream on. Um, again, I said this in my other reaction. Hyunjin has a very good way of delivering emotion when he sings. Mm. For me, his singing is closer to not rapping, but he's he's still yeah. speaking singing. I've not heard anything, any prolonged vocal notes from him. Um, so I'd be still intrigued yeah. to hear him sing. Um, so I didn't, I don't feel, I didn't, it, he was great, and but I kind of already knew that. And I knew he was yeah. great already, so I didn't learn anything new from him, but yeah. what he did, he did very well. Um, his, the way his delivery, yeah, is, is very raw. Yeah, so it? Just, you feel emotion yeah. when he does it. Yeah. I feel like he's someone who, with the right song, right message, he could probably make me cry with a song. Always nice to hear more of Felix vocals. Mm. 
again it was more aspera that's closer to his natural singing voice i think mm. there or just potentially below it but it wasn't as lowering his larynx to when he raps and goes yeah. and purposefully goes deep yeah. deep that was more in line with this is his natural yeah. where his voice sits and it was really nice um and the softness with the air to it as well it felt kind of vulnerable yeah so which would make sense with that again i was trying to pick up lyrics but then at the same time when they were going into more vocal bits my eyes would naturally go up because i want to look at yeah. their posture their mouth their tongue placement and i'm like <laughs> i'm not reading anymore i'm just looking at what you're doing so I, oh is that what we're calling it now tongue placement it is. tongue placement <laughs> i'm an expert in this i will help the guys anytime you need but it is it is um his yeah. gorgeous fluffy jump cardigan yeah and his hair looked yeah. really good he looked that nice uh, nice long hair i liked all the outfits actually oh yeah they all looked nice uh and was han next yes mm. i feel like we didn't get as much of the uh power from han that we do in some other vocal songs but again i think it's because mm. they want to try and share out those parts i really liked his jumper with the little ace of hearts logo yeah i liked it. his blonde mm. fluffy hair mm. He he's, looks, a, he's another one that I'm like, I love it when he has dark hair. Then I'll go, oh, I like it when he has blonde, fluffy hair. Yeah, he looks <laughs> he looks more like a chipmunky. Yeah. Because of his the, the forward fluffy soft hair. Um, Chan. Very good. He is someone that I want to hear a solo ballad from because oh, that man okay. can sing. <laughs> it's not where I went. <laughs> Come on, he's someone that I want. <laughs> out of the gutter. Out of the gutter. Yeah. That's standard. But... Chan. Do you know what? Chan's voice, though. I find I don't know whether it's because of what we know of Chan, mm-hmm. but I find his voice so comforting. It's got a lovely warm tone. I mean, his voice is like a warm blanket, just like yeah. mm, Chan's yeah. voice. Mm-hmm. Even better if it came with his arms. It's like, mm. <laughs> I really, yeah, I liked his outfit, his little hat and his jumper. Really cute. Chan's voice is a Chan hug, you see. But yeah, <laughs> but he can. He can sing. Yeah. He can rap. He can dance. He is, yeah. As in, I think most of them can do all three but you'd look at like oh where is your strength and whatnot i would say bang chan is probably from what i know of stray kids so far i think he's probably the strongest as it were triple threat in all categories he could do all three singing dancing and rapping um from what i've seen so far well four because obviously the and writing composing yeah that's it so i I think he's the most well-rounded that you could say to him this is what we need for this song can you do this bit and he could do it i don't know han as well Mm, yeah well, I, I get no I have not heard as mm, I'd need to hear more of Han's vocals but really what, yeah I'd need to hear more of his vocals but what I hear in, in Bangtan's voice it's there I know he has it yeah uh, the control he has the vibrato there his placement everything I just I know it's there I'm just surprised you haven't heard it in Han's yet from what we've done I feel like there's definitely yeah. potential there but I, I need more so okay. it's like mm. but I'd yeah I'd say out of all of them those are the two kind of strongest all-rounders yeah Definitely, yeah. Although, I know, I know some men can rap, I know it's in there. Yeah. I want to hear it. <laughs> That's what we want. That's can what we need. Can you imagine that? If they did like a unit track and it was Changmin and Sungmin and they were like, oh my God, here we go. And Changmin comes out with him vocals and Sungmin Yeah, they rapping. swap, they swap. Oh, that would be the best challenge. That would be so funny. Yeah. Um, Sungmin. Lovely. Very nice, very nice. Um, I just, I love his voice. Mm. Now, this is in a non-perverted way, okay? Right, you've, you've never had to preface but, a sentence with that before, <laughs> so... I bet Sung Min sounds amazing when he sings in the shower. That's not perverted at all, you the know, standard. Like yeah, the, yeah. the echo you get in a bathroom. Yeah, the acoustics. Yeah, the acoustics. Just, you could hear it, and he'd be just going for it. Yes. None of that, like, working on his control and what bit's his and what bit's not. Just yeah. going for it. Absolutely. <sighs> Got to really good yeah the problem so is you ever see me hanging around outside Sung Min's bathroom I promise that's what I'm doing I'm just listening <laughs> oh, I absolutely believe you any of them yeah. all of them great but then but that's also a really nice thought is when you're singing in the shower they can be singing along to other people's songs you yeah. know what I mean bowing them out and whatnot so then it's like oh it's almost like that question of what would you pick for karaoke so what would they all be singing in the shower I would pick <laughs> For Sung Min, Adele, make you feel my love. Mm. 
That'd be nice. Yeah. Um, I would pick for him. What's that song by Lewis Capaldi? Which forget one? me? These are all just facts. forget me. Is it forget me? The one that I'm not ready to to find out. You know how to forget me. That one. That is an amazing song. <clears throat> but yeah, no, all um, all really nice. Um, but it is unless you get that was a ballad but it was still it was still as it were a poppy ballad yeah it wasn't necessarily do you know what I mean like an out and out ballad where you get long drawn yeah. out notes so yeah I'm getting more satisfied with vocals the more I get but I'm still getting little bits and pieces like How I said about the song nice yeah. very nice it was sad yeah sad it was um and again I'm sorry I didn't catch all of the lyrics but was it almost could potentially be like about a breakup of like even if you get to that point where you don't like me yeah you know let's not destroy each other it was almost like and then he seen about they like they've lost themselves and he was like even if i could could i let go of all of this like hatred in my heart and it, it just seems like all of them yeah the, what i did pick up i don't know the, the overriding yeah. theme between it along it a story but them lyrics were raw yeah i got the feeling that there was a bit of a you say like a breakup but that whole I lost me, mm. that kind of, you know, if you go into a relationship and it all becomes we. Mm. And then all of a sudden, when it's not working, you're a bit like, but without this, who I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah. Or mm. like, what? and you're afraid if, yeah, if you, yeah. Because I think there was a line about, um, of I'm not who I wanted to be anymore. So it was like, I've lost track of who I am mm. and where I was going because yeah. I've been in this. And yeah. so now I don't. You know, this isn't good, but if I'm not there, I don't know. Also, like, if a if a breakup or something goes bad, you can you can turn into someone that you don't like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it can bring out... Yeah. Like, a toxic relationship can bring out the worst in you. Yeah. And so that could... Like, where we were saying, like, if I let go of all this hatred in my heart, will I, you know, can I start again kind yeah. of thing? Like, blank slate is step away from that. Because so, it's almost like, I don't want to let go of this, but at the same time, I have to, because this is not good for yeah. me. This is not good for either of us, and I don't like who I am in this. Yeah. Like, oh. But yeah, I'll um, have another look at the lyrics to see if I could get a story or whatnot. Yeah. Like I say, I, I did mean to read the lyrics, but the minute there was the more vocals there, I, I went up yeah. and I was looking at well, the see, delivery. It was nice to look at them. It's always nice to look at them. Mm. But just, I could close my eyes and listen to that. Yeah, yeah. Just, just the feeling of it. It was, it was kind of vulnerable yeah. and a little bit sad. And a bit, a bit desperate. Yeah. But vocally, very nice. Yeah. So that was our reaction to Stray Kids on the first take doing Lost Me. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.